Hi there, this is just a follow on from the Blender part one uh, video uh, where I showed you how to add this GIS option, this feature here with the add on. Uh, so you'll need to have that loaded. You'll get that from the previous um, the, the video with Blender part one in the, in the title. So in this one, what I wanted to do is just show you how you can get straight into loading in shape files. Um, and, and I'm going to load in some buildings. They're from the Microsoft um, buildings database, which they, they handed out, which is which is great, um, free data. And I've made some, if you look in ArcGIS Pro, some sort of, actually made some fake height data. I've, I've uh, um, if you look at the attribute table here, I've made this column called height, but I've, I've, I've just, just put in some numbers there that, that are relatively sizable, so scaled up, so they'll um, show up clearly in Blender, but you could do scaling up in Blender, of course. So these are just made up figures just to just to show you. But there you go, it's called Buildings 2. If I just go to Properties, you'll see it's um, Spatial Reference is Web Mercator, 1984 Web Mercator. So that's my um, default um, uh, system projection, uh, 3857. That's the one I've used. Uh, now if I go back to Blender, what I will do here is in GIS go straight to import. Now there are other options there, I saw them in the last video, uh, but shapefile is the main one, um, that I'm, well is the one I'm going to be looking at uh, here, it's that ArcGIS Pro buildings. So I've got an ArcGIS Pro, so I stored them in CTEMP and it's called buildings 2 import. Now in, in the Previous video, um, I didn't use extrusion or anything like that. Um, so I will, or extrusion from the field, I should say. And so I'm going to do that on this one. So I'm going to extrude, make the buildings high based on the height field, which was that figure in the attribute table I showed you in Arches Pro. The other thing I'm going to do here is separate the objects. Uh, previously, in, and again, in the previous video, they all came through as sort of one big fat layer and uh, all the objects are basically merged, they're all, they're all um, combined. So, um, but this time I'm going to split the buildings up into individual entities, so you'll see them in the scene collection. Also, I'm going to pick out this FID as the object name, so I'll be able to um, have these unique names. Uh, defaults to Web Mercator, that's fine, press OK, but I could obviously uh, change that. Note that I've gone straight in here, you see, so here's my buildings. Uh, I haven't um, uh, loaded the base map or anything, you know, get it like, like I did in the other video. You don't have to, you can jump straight to the, the shape file. So I'm holding down the middle mouse button here and just dragging the mouse left and right and, and changing this, this viewpoint, uh, which is pretty good. And if I um, just move the mouse, um, I, I zoom in. And the, like I said, the, these are all individual entities. So you see in the scene collection here, check these out, they're just all individual um, buildings. Uh, let's put that a bit, there you go. So you can see them all lighten up down there. So you can individually work with them, set textures, whatever rules, and of course, um, and just go as normal. And of course I could um, uh, scale up individually pressing S and all that sort of thing it's all there uh, moving them around because they are individual objects and um, and of course I can uh, with a selected object let's say like that one I can use good old Z let's go 10 times skyscraper boom boom there you go anyway that's just to show you it's fully embedded in um, in blender the, the, the objects but they've come from ArcGIS Pro so um, you'll be able to do some really cool visualization work with Blender. It looks like the monolith from Space Odyssey. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. Thanks.